Dolmabahçe Palace, located in the Beşiktaş district of Istanbul, served as the main administrative center of the Ottoman Empire from 1856 to 1887 and from 1909 to 1922. Dolmabahçe is the largest palace in Turkey. It contains 285 rooms, 46 halls, 6 baths, and 68 toilets. The area was reclaimed gradually during the 18th century to become an imperial garden, much appreciated by the Ottoman sultans. It is from this garden that the name Dolma Bace, building garden, comes from the Turkish Dolma, meaning filled, and Bace, meaning garden. So I'm standing here in front of the Dolma Bace Palace. This palace was made after the uh, top of a palace that we visited yesterday, from the 1800s. It's very European style, you know, it's uh, the Versailles of Turkey. Bad news, we couldn't take pictures and we couldn't film it inside. So there's not going to be any footage from the inside. But the outside is, it has amazing views of the Bosphorus, it's right by the Bosphorus here. decided to come to the cafe, get some Turkish coffee and some baklava. Actually baklava, I thought it was Greek, but it turns out it's Turkish. We're gonna try the baklava with pistachio and Turkish coffee with a little piece of Turkish delight. Salute. Good Turkish coffee. Strong. And now drink mm. together. Mm. It sweetens the coffee. Pistachio baklava. Flaky, sweet. Has the little the texture from the pistachios. Very delicious. I approve. I'm gonna dig in. The one brought me to the Naval Museum where we can see all different kinds of kayaks, right? Sultans dated 1800s. The Istanbul Naval Museum contains an important collection of military artifacts pertaining to the Ottoman Navy. In the field of maritime, it is Turkey's largest museum with a great variety of collections. Around 20,000 pieces are present. Being connected to the Turkish Navy Command in Turkey, it is also the country's first military museum. The basement consists of diverse items like figureheads, ornaments of naval ships, ship models and pieces of the Byzantine chain used to block entries of enemy ships. In the first and second floors, a great number of imperial and other caiques are exhibited. The museum is open every day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but Mondays, New Year's Day, and the first day of religious holidays. Duan ordered this for me to try. It's Nidia Dolma. It's uh, mussels with rice. Use it as a spoon, just to... Mmm! It's good. Creamy. Actually pretty good. Like I, I personally don't like mussels, but this is good. This sandwich is called Kokoreci. What's inside is the lamb stomach. It's very well seasoned. It has peppers, tomato, onions. Bread is very soft. So, another thumbs up. It's mainly uh, houses from 
the workers that used to work in the palace down, down the street in the 1800s. So they were very close to the palace, so they used to, to live here. Those are the workers' places that they used to live. The Suleymaniye Mosque is an Ottoman Imperial Mosque located on the third hill of Istanbul. The mosque was commissioned by Suleyman the Magnificent and designed by Imperial architect Mimar Sinan. It is the second largest mosque in the city, the city's largest Ottoman era mosque, and one of the best known sites of Istanbul. So we just had dinner, very cheap, very, very less than a dollar. And it's the, a little dough filled with meat and they fry it. It's like a cousin of the empanada. It was like, you can roll it because it's very soft, uh, but be careful. It just, it, it, it drips water from inside with fat. So be very careful because I had an accident. I just destroyed my pants with water that I didn't know, but but it's very good. It's very cheap. It's only three Turkish lira for for a portion. It comes with three a portion, so one lira each. So for you guys to, to know, one dollar, one U.S. dollars equals four point sixty lira. So it's less than one dollar three of those. But what I um, experienced is that. People eat it drinking that, um, eat it with the, the yogurt drink, Ayran, the buttermilk, which I wasn't too fond of it. I didn't like it. I had my regular iced tea, but it was very good, very traditional, very Anthony Bourdain y, because it was right here in that corner, right there, like from this street. So it's very, very, very good, very unique experience. Thumbs up for dinner tonight. So far, I've been enjoying everything, every single meal that I've had is good. From the fish in the beginning, then the meatballs, 
and Turkish coffee and the meat that I had yesterday that I forgot the name. What is it called, the meat from yesterday? Iskender, very good. 100% today, all good. Grand Bazaar, the mosques, everything. It's been a great day. The palace, everything fine, great, 100%. Duan has been doing a great job. By the way, he is a very good tourist guide. Like he knows the history, he knows the places, he knows the legends, he knows the story. So I'm learning a lot. I thought I was just gonna go visit the places, but I'm getting like a very good history lesson with him. He's been teaching me a lot of Turkish history, which is very, very good. I don't live in Rio anymore, but when he goes to Rio and I'm there, I'm gonna take him and try to explain the history. I'm not as good as him, but I'll try. So that's it. Heading back to the car and go to the hotel because tomorrow there's more. See you guys later.